Hello, my name is Will McKay and I'm a poet and a general waffler from Newcastle. Um, and a few weeks ago, uh, I was approached by Lisa at Connected Voice uh, and she asked if I would write something uh, as part of their annual general meeting. Um, and I'll be honest, I, I didn't know much about Connected Voice until I went away and started learning all about the amazing work uh, that they do and that they have done over the years. Uh, so in the past few weeks I've been kind of immersing myself in the history of the, org of the organisation um, and as well as that, I couldn't help but, as I was learning about the beginnings of Connected Voice, uh, I couldn't help but think about the kind of current situation we're in now with the, the cost of living crisis and the country. So I've been kind of brewing on all of this in the past few weeks and I've written something about it, it's called Tyneside Papers. In the ragged towns of the 1920s, round smog-filled cobbles on the banks of the Tyne, where consumptive lungs were packed in slums, where jobs were scarce and leaders blind, there were people like Theresa Meurs who set out to help those who needed it most, with actions that spoke so much louder than words that started as seeds and grew into oaks. Because no one is going to help us but us. There is no alternative, the Chancellor drones, as they lock up the libraries, ramp up the cuts, and claim back expenses on their second homes. But back then, as the jobless wandered the streets, Theresa knew times are right for a change. We cannot depend on a distant elite. How can we be free when we're neighbours in chains? So the organised hostels and free legal aid, which the government later absorbed and enshrined. But these weren't gifts bestowed by the hands of the state. They were fought for by people who gave up their time, who knew the oppressed had been robbed of a voice, that poverty isn't a personal choice, who saw that the system was rigged from the start. It was born on the day that we shut up our hearts. The high and the low walk the same road together. There's a grit and a wit here that stitches our seams. In an age where the stakes are now higher than ever, come everyday heroes, we need you to dream.